Hey guys, let me welcome you back to the channel. My name's Justin and you're watching Survival Mindset. Yes, we're in Northern California today, believe it or not. It's 101 degrees in the month of July. Yeah, the end of July actually. So I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this video, but we're going to be taking a tour through this yurt. Um, we're in the forest, we're in the deep forest right here, and this is a remote location, this is an off-grid location. So yeah, let me take you guys around the yurt, and then I do want to take you inside the yurt so we can get a closer look at everything going on. Now we stayed in yurts over the past, and this is a smaller yurt, so yeah, we're stoked. So now we got a closer look here on the yurt. It does have a overhang covered porch right here. Here's the yurt. Now these are made in Oregon. These are the Pacific yurts. Um, they make them in Oregon. It's got a nice little deck here. So here's the outside of the deck all the way around the yurt. Got a lot of forest throughout here. A lot of pines. Ponderosa pines as well. Here's the back side of the yurt. Does have windows. These are like um, vinyl windows. They roll up. So yeah, these are basically hot tents and everything. More of the forest here. Um, this yurt does have running water. And it does have electricity in it. So back over here. Now they make these in green as well. So if you want to go with green, you can go with green. Um, the last one we did stay in was green. It was a lot bigger than this yurt that we're looking at right here. So here's the back side. I'm trying to get up this mountain side. So you guys can look at this. So here's the full size of the yurt right here. Yeah, it's nice and peaceful out here. Here's the windows I was talking about. They just roll up and down. You got your screens in here. So moving on to the front porch area we do have a cooler here but like i said it does have electricity radio here there's a barbecue over there and then i forgot to show you guys it does have this picnic table right down here so hey, you got a lot of shade throughout this whole area a little bit of sun up there you know but it's shaded and everything really nice Here's the porch area and the French doors. Now let's go in. My wife's just kicking back in here right now. I do still have that fan on. So you can use this in the summertime, in the winter time as well. So it does have like a fire stove right there. A chair, end table, window up there, dining room table over here. With, you can fit many of chairs here, about four, but we just have two in here right now that we're using. Here's the little kitchen area. It's not too big, but it does the job. So you got an end table there. You got a nice big cutting board right here. Um, with a sink there place to store glasses as well another window right there huge refrigerator which really does the job even though the yurts are always hot because basically this is a hot tent it does have a microwave cabinets down below here it does have a stove here more cabinets and a cutting board as well a huge cabinet inside here so we got all our st goodies right there bunch of goodies in there plates and 
pancake mix and syrup, cheese grater cups, measuring cups. Does have a coffee pot right there. Sorry it's a little dark in here, but if I turn on the lights, it gives you like that yellow tone effect, which I don't like. It does have a nice chair right here to kick back in. So yeah, that's the chair. It's pretty hot in here right now. It's got no air conditioning, like I said, but it's got fans. Here's where all the magic happens. My wife's just kicking back on the bed. So yeah, that's my timer going off um, because I got a couple beers in the freezer right now, right babe? Yeah. So can you turn this timer off for me? Yeah. Yeah, and then it does have lamps, another window by the bed right there, um, a chair there, electricity right down there. It's got wall plugs everywhere you go. It's got a light up here, a nice window on this side as well does have a chair over there to kick back in. Um, it does have a flat screen TV as well. So yeah, this is off the grid, remember, but it's got electricity. It's ran by solar. And it does have a cabinet there. We got plenty of fans. There's a heater right there for the winter time, of course. Clothes rack in here in the bedroom now i like what they did with the bathroom you know okay so here's the bathroom this wooden wall the l-shaped wall um they added this on themselves so this is all new it doesn't come with the yurt kits basically but it's an add-on so here's the shower so they added all this nice size shower nice size sink medicine cabinet a place to a place to keep all your toiletries right there does have a nice size window here it's got a pretty big bathroom right here overall it's about six by four i would say so yeah it's nice you got the toilet there um towel racks and many a places to store whatever you have you know your my wife's earrings or bracelets or what have you so moving back out here here's another angle of the yurt all the way around plenty of windows and i forgot to mention it does have a huge ceiling fan up here with a skylight so yeah we don't have the skylight open yet um but I do want to get the fans on. Now let's go look outside at different angles of the yurt. I got my wife a bunch of gifts. It's our anniversary, our 16th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I love you. Love you too. So, here's why don't your... you tell them what you got? So, yeah, I forgot to mention that basically my wife bought me a Zaza, a DeWalt Zaza. Yes, yeah, so I put it to use on a house and so far cutting some higher limbs around our house. Babe, I'm gonna sit on that side. Okay, so you can hand me stuff. I got her this really cool Walking Dead bag. From she's Comic Con. A, she loves the Walking Dead. This came from Comic Con. Mm -hmm. I told you, right? Yep. So here you go. You can Except, re reach you in You can there. hand something to me. Here we go. Now I got you one of those <laughs> you know i bought her a bunch of jewelry in the past so this is like this, this is something totally different this is my new earring your new earring yes it is <laughs> there we go. Here. calvin klein obsession 
Open it up, see what it is. I got you the whole kit, actually. Okay. Isn't that cool? I needed that, for sure. Awesome, huh? Yeah. So she's got the travel size perfume, the big 3.5 ounce one, and then what is it, lotions and stuff, huh? Yeah, it's lotions. Yeah, lotions. Different kinds of lotions. Obsession, Calvin uh, Klein. Yep, obsession. Yep. Thank you. Isn't that cool? You needed that. You wanted that, didn't you? Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Here you go. <laughs> the complete ninth season of The Walking Dead. I'll <laughs> add that to my collection because I have series one through nine now. <laughs> You can watch that here at the yurt. Yep. Isn't that going to be cool? Got a DVD player. Heck yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. More Walking Dead. So we'll <laughs> open that tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, honey, here you go. All different kinds of stuff. Check, oh, cool. Open these up and show the viewers what you got. <laughs> Look, check this out. Champagne toast. And that's by, I think, who's that by? Bath and Body. Yeah, that one's by Bath and Body. Champagne toast. This one's shower gel. That one's what? Lotion. It's like a lotion with like a perfume scent to it, mm -hmm. you know? Victoria's Secrets. It's like another lotion. Secret Dreamer. With a fragrance in it, with a lotion. Fragrance. Fragrance. Fragrance, yeah. Yep. Cool. <laughs> that so, goes with that beauty puff. Yep, it does. All that stuff can. <laughs> Even the shower gel. Yeah. The shower gel is what goes with the puff. Yep. Thank you, honey. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Lots of good gifts. Yep. Well, that was the whole tour of the yurt on the outside and the inside. This is the off grid location that we're at for our anniversary. Thanks for watching. My name's Justin and you're watching Survival Mindset. Peace out.